everybody this is your girl simply love i was checking to see if this thing was um yeah okay check it out i hope you guys are uh okay out there this is a uh, pretty been some pretty hot days okay it's been raining all night it just cooled off this morning and then it went right back to hot 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 so i hope you guys are staying hydrated and you know not having to go out if you don't have to it's dangerously hot out there it really is if you do go out please take plenty of water with you <clears throat> because it is it's it's really dangerous some dangerous temperatures out there okay so i hope you all are staying cool and being safe today we're going to do a little check in and see what's up just trying to get this uh there we go sage the sage a little bit You guys, don't forget to um, sign up for the contest. You can look at, uh, down in the description, it'll tell you everything that's going on with the channel. Alright, so I don't have to keep saying it over and over again. Please like, share, subscribe. I can say that uh, to get the, to get the um, videos out there. So, we're just going to do a checkup. And I'm going to use my Clarifier Tokens. I will. Uh, I had them up on SD. As soon as I put them up, they were sold out, and um, I was supposed to get some more last week. They told me that was delayed uh, for another week, so it should be by the end of this week. If you like what you see, you can. These are real simple that anybody could use. Don't have to necessarily be a tarot card reading. Becomes it comes with a little booklet and tells you exactly what each token means, okay? Or clarifier mean clarifier token. Um. So. I don't know why I'm having a hard time liking these. Bear with me, y'all, I get into this. I got my fan on. This is something. I'm just gonna use my stick. Okay, there it goes. All right, let's get to it. Let's get with it. Let me put my camera down so y'all can see see what's going on down here all right hope you guys can see that so i'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> get you guys we're going to start it off with some clarifier tokens and i'm going to tell you what they talking about and we'll just get into your freaking reading today Okay, we got what wanted to come out. These were just in my, oh, that wanted to fall out too. All right, let's see what's up. They'll come in a nice little bag like this. They have a little sticker on it, on the bag. You'll get the instructions. Okay, let's see how this come out here. Let's see. Okay, Spirit, thank you for the clarifier messages. The first one you got here is the eye. Hope you guys can see these. It's the eye. Let me get over here. And, you know, the number 36, or you might want to look up the number 36, you guys. It may mean something to you. Okay. Okay, number 36 is um, called uh, the... Uh, clarifier is Eve Eve someone is watching you watched over in a higher power look closer so for some of you there's um someone that's watching over you okay or somebody's just watching you somebody could be spying on you your social media uh, anything that has to do you know looking you up watching you and then you got somebody um that's watching over you, which is a higher power. So some of you, you know, your spirit guides, your ancestors are watching over you, okay? And some of you need to take a closer look at something, okay? Something you may need to be looking into, focusing in on uh, with your third eye, okay? Then you got number 19 here. I hope you guys can see these. Let me see. And 19 may be me a specific number. 1 plus 9 is what? 10. Okay. 
Okay, so this is the Frog Prince. The Frog Prince, number 19. Don't be, um, don't be fooled it by appearances. Yeah, uh, this is my All That Glitter Ain't Gold token. All right, everything you see. <laughs> you guys may want to look into that because it is not all gold, okay? All of it's not gold, so you sometimes you want to kind of look into things. Don't take things to, for face value either. You know what I mean? Just don't look at something and just judge it off of that. You know, you have to clearly look into some things and... Uh, and, and, and try to figure some stuff out because some people go along say with somebody look good you know whatever goes on material things on the outside of themselves and you can get yourself in a whole lot of trouble that way because what you think you see is not really what it is you know how are they spiritual wise how's their conduct how do they act you know how would they be you know, are they a good person as as good as they look on the outside? You know, you, you know, you got to really look at that. That's why I feel like you got the eye here. There's some situation here where you got to, you know, that, that male or female, you know, it may not look all that good on the outside. Then again, maybe it does. You have to really deep, dick deep, a little di uh, deeper. Don't just go by face value. Now, 105 might mean something to you guys. 105 FM. <laughs> okay let's let's see here 105 is the guardian angel again you guys have guardian angels watching over you got your spirit guides your ancestors your people that you've known that was here friends family that's crossed over you guys are really really heavily protected So, yes, guarding angels. Guard, uh, angels are with you, protecting you. So, you're protected. That's why, you know, I tell a lot of you guys, too, to be careful of all the saga regarding, you know, the spells and hexes and curses. Kind of like, don't take too much of it face value because, you know, you got, you, you're heavily guarded here. You got angels ancestors spirit guides your relatives all that is protecting you so don't worry about all that stuff don't get too caught up in that type of mess don't get caught up in it too heavy please don't you'll be running around here acting crazier than crap and probably ain't even you know got nothing to do with you you know what i mean so just be careful with that stuff seven and one make eight so you know 71 seven plus one is eight so that may mean something to you So, 71 is maple leaf, is um, Canadian autumn shielding, shedding the old. Okay, so this is like, um, some of you are going through a, a transformation right now. We are in that season where, you know, things are turning around. Um, we're in the age of Aquarius now, old things old habits old you know we're up for for judgment the age of Aquarius is just like you know judgment basically it's where you know it's the it, everything's come full circle now it's time to you know uh bring on judgment to see you know where are you going to take the next level where are we going here where what you need to learn here you know what do you don't need no more in your life these old things you know past things you know it's, it's all about clean up time and you know um, making things new you know if you decide to you know make that change everything is about making change everything's about change in the air age of Aquarius a lot of communication and things like that um, so we got number 84 that may mean something to some of you which is the film the film clapper number 88 the film clapper so with the film clapper, that means time to take action. So some of you may need to take action on whatever it is that you need to be doing. Um, because some of you are going through this transformation. You are guided by your angels and ancestors. You got that here twice. You need to really look. Use your third eye. I'm also feeling with this, this card. I'm sorry, token with number 38. Use your intuition at this time and and then take action on it. Okay? Take action. 
So we got number 96. That may mean something to some of you too. So 96 is the uh, the genie lamp. Yeah, it looks like the lamp I genie used to use. Or I gene, dream a genie. She used to come out of that lamp. <laughs> Okay, number 96 is make a wish, expect a miracle, wish wisely though. Be careful what you wish for because you just might get it with this genie card and you know, you're going through your transformation and you know, bringing on the new, making your wish. You know, spirit is like telling you to, you know, now's the time to wish and you know, and 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 put out the universe the things that you want. Now that you're leaving people places and things behind that you that no longer serve you and you have this clean slate now it's time to go ahead and make your wish take action here remember you're protected and use your third eye because you know when your angels and stuff where you're connected with spirit they able to show you things and you know tell you things and you know come in your dreams so now it's time to take action you know um you got some good luck here make a wish be careful what you wish for remember all that you went through Remember all of that and don't make the same mistakes again. So we got number 45. That may mean something to you. That's nine. And 45 is the galloping horse. Wow. Uh-oh. 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 Hope y'all can see these. The galloping horse. It represents freedom without restraint, travel, and power. Yeah, so <laughs> a lot of you guys are setting yourself free, period. It, yeah, it's the set yourself free card. You know, you can gallop. You ain't got to, you know, go. You don't have no restraints, no restrictions. Some of you may have, you know, ended a, 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 a toxic relationship here. So now you're free from that. Spirit has been guiding you and helping you here. So you're now free. You can travel. You can do whatever you want to do. You know, you can live your life the way you want to live it without any kind of restrictions or anything holding you down. So, last but not least, that fell out was uh, the eight ball. Eight ball, eight ball. Number eight. and number. You know, the eight is, you know, the symbol of infinity, too. Y'all know that, right? That's, that's good, the sign of infinity. Okay, so we got the eight ball. Vulnerable, vulnerable position behind the eight ball. Intuition, mystical wisdom. <laughs> vulnerable position behind the eight ball. Intuition, mystical wisdom. So, yeah, it looks like you guys are ready to win the game basically as long as you play your cards right make your wish and make it wisely be careful what you wish for you're going through transformation you got your angels and ancestors and, and things watching over you you know make wise choices you know use your intuition um and don't worry about who's watching you make sure you just be on your p's and q's for yourself it could be somebody watching you at your job, you know, seeing how a good job, uh, good things that you're doing. There's no, just no telling. It just depends. There's something that you may want to look into as well. Because it looks like you guys are starting, starting all over again. You, you got a clean slate is what I'm seeing here with all these together. You got a clean slate. So, you know, now you can make your choices. You're protected from any and every one. Uh, you're free to roam. You're free to be yourself. Okay. You've released some things now. It's time to move on. Make better choices. Learn from your you, learn from your mistakes and just move. Leave it behind, but learn from them as well. So let's get it on, you guys. Holy Spirit, what are the messages we have for today? What is the messages that you wanted to deliver to me? I don't know why I'm hearing this freaky thing. I, what spirit? Why you want me to say all that? My God. Okay, I'll say it. Okay, because it may be unhealthy for somebody out there. Spirit telling me that there's there's people out there, a few people out there that they're saying you're overindulging in porn. 
Why is that? Why are you overindulging? Overindulging? What's the problem? Like I'm hearing that um, some people uh, are paying an arm and a leg at one of the cable company to have that on, to have it on, and to have that on uh, your channel, cable channel. You're paying a lot of money for it. Like, you know, I don't know. I don't know who's that for and why Spirit had me to say it. But, you know, whoever is doing this and resonate with it. And I guess it's, it's a problem. That I guess Spirit's saying this is a problem. <sighs> I don't understand why people would get that on their cable bill. And you can just go on your cell. You got a cell phone. Just go online and do it, you know. And look at it from there. I don't understand that. But uh, I don't know. It's just things that are, I guess Spirit is trying to say there's some excessive, you know, some somebody needs to chill out with this excessive sexual, somebody's got a sexual addiction, and somebody needs to fix that, somebody needs to work on that. Spirit said call on them and they're going to help you, just call on them, you know, call on them they, and you know who you are, shit. And take that stuff off your cable bills. Just making it too freaking high. It ain't worth that much, damn it. Look on your, use your cell phone. Use your time wisely. I don't know why I heard that shit. It's crazy. Okay, spirit. Other than that, is there anything else? <laughs> what other messages do we have here? What other messages do we have here for the collective or whoever's coming to watch this video what is it what are the messages holy spirit ancestors spirit gods what are the messages okay thank you we got the lovers in reverse what's going on something there's a breakup somebody breaking up with someone and maybe over that person who watched too much damn porn somebody be feeling like well, well you got to watch it that much what did i what do i what am i here for so i guess Maybe it don't, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. But the, the lovers is in reverse. Some of you could be talking to a Gemini. Okay. Yeah, the lovers is in reverse. Is a breakup. Okay. We also, well, I don't think all these were in reverse. We got the nine of cups. Somebody, I guess, somebody's breaking up with someone to go to their wish fulfillment. So, you know, if they're not happy in this relationship with the lovers in reverse, Somebody wants their happiness. Somebody wants their wish fulfilled. Because I obviously it's not with within this couple. So someone could be, you know, a, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So we also have, yeah, somebody wants to move forward with the world card here. Somebody wants to leave something behind. They want their wish fulfillment. So they're going to cross over. They're going to leave this relationship behind. Whoever that resonates with. And you're, you know, off to a... Uh, you're ending an old cycle and, and starting a new cycle here with the world card. Hmm. And we got temptation here, which in this deck, I forget the name of this deck. And this deck is, um, and I had it for a while, just never used it. So in this deck is the devil card. So temptation is about uh, the devil card. Um, so something was toxic here. And that's why someone, you know, uh, decided to leave a relationship that was unhealthy or toxic because they wanted their wish fulfillment here. I'm picking up the energy of, you know, there's some emotional, there was an emotional attachment with this relationship. And somebody just like, nah, I ain't feeling this no more. It's time for me to, you know, open a new door here because this is toxic. You're realizing the situation was toxic. I'm also picking up an energy that somebody here wants to try to stop you from moving forward. It, it, it also can mean that somebody, whoever this person is, it could, you know, they're very, they might be very obsessed over you. There's some like, obsession. Whatever the obsession is they have for you, they don't want you to go nowhere. Here we go with the crescent moon with the moon card. So that's talking about somebody intuition, somebody's keen in instincts. It talks about your instincts. Like somebody got a feeling. Somebody, you know, got a feeling about something. And you're being alerted to because you can see them howling. See the uh the wolves and things howling. The dogs are the wolf is howling, the dog is looking like yeah, uh, we want you to see what's going on here. There's definitely something being hidden. 
but you also you know, the dog and the wolf is your in, your in, your instincts you know it's like telling you something the moon is all about you know your emotions and your emotions act up when there's something emotional that's that's your mechanism right there that's your the instinct that's telling you um to there's something going on that you need to take a look at something hidden but it's warning you before you you know go down this journey because sooner or later the sun's going to rise and you don't want to get caught with your pants down that's what i heard spirit just said don't get caught with your pants down listen and take heed to the warning whatever this is going on because it hasn't been fully revealed yet because it's only a crescent moon but there is something going on because sooner or later this moon is going to be full and the sun is going to come out from behind, from behind the moon so we got the five of wands yeah there's going to be um look uh uh aries sagittarius leo energy so i'm picking up yeah there's there's something going on in the background and it's it's, it's causing it may cause some kind of competition maybe going on there may be you know other people involved in the situation this talks about conflict um Sorry, y'all. I hope you guys can hear me. Because I think I... Uh... Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, this talks about conflict. Talks about fighting as well. It could be physical fighting. It, it just talks. This is what's behind the moon here. This is what the urgency is. Be careful because you're going to be somebody's going to be running into some type of conflict or some type of competition or, you know, uh, a lot of people. Something may be starting up. Some type of drama. You know, drama. Drama for your mama. And, but you got the Wheel of Fortune here, and Spirit is saying, you know, keep it moving. This is a major event. The, the, you know, the Devil card's a major event here. The two of uh, the Lover's card is a major event, and the Moon card. So we got one, two, three, four major events here. Maybe five. What's this one? Yeah, the world. We got. So this is a big deal here. There's a lot of majors going on here. Very much so. Somebody, like I said, you know, in the beginning with your tokens here, it's like somebody, you know, you're going through some type of transformation. You're leaving a, a toxic situation alone. Um, and I feel like this toxic energy is trying to stop you from moving forward or reappearing, like, because this person may be a bit obsessed and they're going to try to, you know, I feel like they're going to try to fight for you or something or fight or start a fight with you. That's what's hidden here. That's what you got to be careful of. That's what your instincts is telling you. But spirit is like, you know, just keep it moving because there's a fortunate situation coming uh, from this. Like, just keep it moving. Just keep moving. The wheels uh, is favor and turning it, turning in your favor here. Holy Spirit, what are the messages that we have here? What are the messages? Pull some to the side here. What are the messages? Okay, yeah. Eight of Cups here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now, you could be dealing with someone who is a, a, actually a drinker. They like drink a lot. Uh, that may be what this, you know, they drink and come in and start conflict because they see that you're moving forward here. Uh, it's just very toxic situation or this person is very obsessed with you and this is a warning a warning that about this person because they're going to try to come back with some conflict some drama some mayhem but spirit is saying just go ahead and you know keep it moving they you're protected remember we talked about your protection that you have and just go ahead on it you know walk away i'm not telling nobody what to do my my simply love is not here to tell anybody what to do i'm giving you the um uh, uh, advice or what spirits tells me to tell you but that's i'm not here to tell you nothing but you know give you the messages and and you do what you want to do with them <clears throat> we're not judging anybody here i'm not at least i'm not here to judge anybody all right i 
ain't nobody's mom, dad, sister, bride, nobody's nothing but just an advisor working for spirit and telling you what they say do. So if you have any problem with anything, that's who you need to con confide in. So yeah, with the you know, somebody's leaving this baggage behind or this drunk behind. It may be a drunk. Somebody's leaving it behind, moving forward. It's a mess. Somebody's leaving a, a hot mess behind. I'm also hearing this too. Somebody could be leaving behind if they're a drunk or something, like to drink a lot. I'm hearing that they leaving that behind. It could be you, you guys, or somebody here. They could be leaving, you know, all this drinking behind. They might quit drinking. They may be going to AA because you know all it all it does is cause chaos in their life or somebody here. Am I still filming? Sorry, y'all. I used to working with my own phone too much. Yeah, I'm still filming. I just can't see the numbers that well. <laughs> okay, so we deal with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, Pisces. Capricorn. A Gemini. Okay, so we have somebody taking a leap of favor. Here we go, another major arcana card, major event here where somebody's taking a leap of faith. Look, somebody's walking away and they jumping. They jumping. They jumping. They 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 you know going to they somebody's got a clean slate and they're taking um that leap of faith, major event here, you know, leaving their cares behind, you know, you know, following the sun, you know, getting the, you know, being happy, you know, taking that leap. I'm just feeling, <laughs> yeah. All these major arcana cards. Yeah, you guys got a new start here. Somebody do. Somebody has a new start here. And somebody, somebody is leaving a certain person. Remember we had that, um... We got the um, lovers in reverse, so it's like a breakup here. But somebody was trying to, somebody here was trying to uh, stop someone from leaving or going forward. Or somebody may, have, some of you may have gotten confused as you were moving forward. But then, you know, you got your little signal here, some kind of vibe here that no, it's it, it, no, it's not good because it's it's nothing but drama. And confusion and mayhem and you just not feeling it you rather walk away from all of that they may have tried to call and you know just go ahead and take that leap of faith you know and let the chips fall where they may with the major arcana card the fool yeah you had a different perspective or maybe someone else got a different perspective as you walked away and I, again, I'm still t feeling the feeling that somebody may have been an a alcoholic here causing problems when they drink and they may be walking. I, I feel like that's another scenario I keep picking up that I'm feeling. Somebody stopped, is quitting their drinking habit and they're setting themselves free. Like they're starting from zero, starting all over again, setting themselves free from drinking because it caused them nothing but conflict, fighting, arguing with people. You know how it is when you drink. Or too, you know, you just drink too much. It's 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 an overindulgence here. The devil card. See, because we got this nine of cups too, which indicates could indicate drinking as well. Somebody overindulging and drinking. I don't know why I'm picking up that so strongly, other than what I have been picking up. Two different scenarios going on here. One is a breakup. And it just could be just somebody breaking up with someone because they drink too damn much. And somebody's tired of it. So they're walking away. And by somebody walking away, it may cause somebody else to um to kick the drinking habit and set themselves free from it. Because, you know, they got this bright idea. You know, maybe it brought something to their attention like... Hmm, let me look at this from a different perspective because somebody may have 
somebody may have walked away from somebody who they really, really care about and they know they have some type of drinking problem. Or some type of problem, some type of bad habit with the devil here too. Holy Spirit, what are the messages? Holy Spirit, ancestor, can you please give me the messages? Thank you. Here's one. Yeah, see, somebody's going to get, somebody's going to rehab. Somebody's going to rehab here. I'm telling you, that's the biggest energy I'm feeling with the Three of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody's trying to, this is what this is about. Somebody's trying to kick their a habit. Some of y'all don't even have to be drinking. It could be drinking mixed with some other type of habits. And that maybe that's why Spirit was telling me about somebody buying porn on cable or something. Like they somebody is a real sex addict and it needs to be it needs to be addressed. I'm not saying nothing wrong with watching porn if you're a grown ass person. You know, sometimes people do it together as couples and things like that and or learn some techniques and stuff like that. But if if this is like where you this you know if, if it's if too much of anything ain't no good. I don't care what it is. If if you're doing it too much, it's a toxic situation and it becomes a problem. Whether it be drinking, gambling, no, whatever to eat in, it don't matter. That's what the devil card is like. A, it's a temptation. It like tempts you, and it it can suck you in to this temptation every time it appears. And then you know, and then we got all kind of problems going on here. You know what I mean? We got all kind of problems, drama, and stuff like that going on in your life, it's causing drama in whatever way that may be. That's what I'm really picking up this reading is for someone who is 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 giving up a drinking habit or some type of habits. Maybe the drinking causes someone to look at porn all the damn time. Maybe they get high, they like to look at porn and jerk off or whatever it may case may be. Somebody may, you know, get to drinking or whatever and, and, and deal with other people and then it starts conflicts, it starts fights and stuff. So, but I see somebody set, walking away, look, setting herself free from it. That's what this is about. Serious. Put, this is what this is about. Yeah, somebody like, you know, have a change. Of, they seeing they seeing they self or something. They get some kind of epiphany about their self. Like, this is going on for too doggone long. And you're re somebody's ready to, you know, you know, just heal themselves from it. That's what I'm picking up. And I think that's a good thing. Ain't no judgment here. Yeah, somebody wants to go ahead and, you know, turn somebody's uh is is freeing themselves and 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 so luck can fall on their side. Can I say that? And this is judgment. Yeah, see, somebody's looking at themselves. Somebody's up somebody's uh, reevaluating themselves. This is like a lot of majors going on here, y'all. Somebody's making major changes in their life here spiritually somebody is you know you see that person looking themselves in the mirror they're judging themselves they're like do you know somebody's like i can't we can't keep we we can't spirit is you know you're actually spirit is you know ma making you aware that somebody's going through a spiritual awakening here they're getting some kind of help you know from um i'm looking at this as counsel going to counseling and you know and just trying to get it right you know what i mean some of you dealing with a sagittarius it could be a sagittarius cancer pisces scorpio or this could be a scorpio too this judgment something no let's keep going here I'm not seeing this much of a, I'm, the way I'm looking at it, if it's a love thing, it's like somebody broke up with somebody because of their bad habits, okay? They decided to quit the relationship. And it took somebody on a, a, a saying, okay, I got, I got to do something about this. I got to do something about this is very serious because of all the majors and this talks about major a bunch of major events happening somebody's having a wake up call for sure for sure somebody's going through the dark night of the soul somebody is um facing their demons coming to terms with what's going on 
with their bad habits especially if it has something to do with alcohol because there's a lot of damn cup cards here so somebody is getting themselves some help some counseling and you know and they're up for judgment to reevaluate themselves that person is looking at their self in the mirror and again i think it's a real good thing in the three of wands now you can move now you see where you need to go okay for whoever this is now you can see where you go now the sun is coming up for you yay that's good could be Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Now you're moving forward. It's able to help you to move forward. Whoever this is, you know, congratulations. Seriously, congratulations. Again, it, it, I'm picking up a lot of, you know, uh, of, of, of drinking aspects, but I'm picking up a lot of, I'm picking up, it could be anything. It could be somebody who has this, this bad habit that calls is breakups in relationships and somebody's getting it together here somebody's pulling their self together somebody had epiphany aha moment somebody you know let go and let God with the full card major event somebody taking a real good look at themselves judging themselves and reevaluating themselves where should we go to here putting herself up for reevaluation and or, or looking at something looking at themselves looking at something again and then you know as they're going through that process and getting help and all that thank you spirit they're on their way to a new brighter new beginning here they're choosing to, to, to somebody here is choosing or somebody y'all may be dealing with is choosing the brighter side they're choosing to be um not stuck in this devilish energy anymore whatever the temptation may be for a lot i feel like it's drinking for some is other things and only you guys know what it is and i'm glad to see that somebody's you know getting a new dawn a new break a new slate with the full card and we saw that in your in your um, tokens as well we saw that yeah yeah I want to see where this is going. Uh, Holy Spirit, can we have some more information regarding this situation? What is the, what's the messages that you else that you want me to to give? What what else? This is beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. For some people out there, this is very beautiful. Nothing to be ashamed of. Somebody's like stepping out, and they, stepping out big time. Like they just releasing, letting go. Uh, it's a lot of release here. Uh, this is some people. Out, some of you out there going through, or somebody you know is going through a major, major dark night of the soul facing themselves facing themselves and getting rid of their old habits and ways and toxic ways and like I said whatever the toxic is for some certain people a little few people it was you know that sex addiction stuff and for some it, it may be a combination of things that, that brings on this temptation and causes conflict in your life between you, with you and other people around you if it's somebody you may know. What are the other messages? And I just feel like this is beautiful. If somebody's having a, you know, making a turn with the wheel of fortune, it's a fortunate situation that they're they're going through this dark night of the soul. I know it. I know it hurts. It's not a good thing. To, I'm saying it's not a good feeling. But you know, I'm proud of whoever it is is doing this because a lot of people have a hard time taking a look at themselves. A lot of people don't like to be the man or woman in the mirror. They rather ignore it and just keep on doing the, you know, these these. these toxic things you know caught in it caught up into it don't want to let it go you know don't mind you know and then they cause conflict and mayhem and drama wherever they go so some but this whoever's doing this is you know like had enough you know they just had enough of it like they just said fuck it man i'm gonna let it all go i gotta let it all go if i ain't do it for somebody else i'm doing it for me this is somebody who's doing this for themselves. You know what I'm saying? They're doing it for themselves because ain't nobody jumping off that cliff with them. Ain't nobody pushing them nothing. This is a spiritual adventure for someone. 
because they had an epiphany here with the hangman. I just love this. I, I mean, seriously, I'm so proud of whoever this is. Leave your comments if you can. Let us know because this is very inspirational. Somebody said they want to make a, 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 they want good things. They want the wheel to turn in their favor. They're tired of all this. Somebody's tired of this. Let me get one more here. Yeah, they got the six of coins. Like, this could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Um, I just feel like out of this whole thing, I just feel like it's going to make someone's finances better. I feel like this person may get help from someone too, that they're making this, this, this change, this major change. Somebody's going to be able to help them financially or their finances is going to be better because they do have the wheel of fortune here for this major change comes major outcomes when you make a major change like this yeah look the ten of cups cancer pisces scorpio it brings love it may bring a family back together again is what i'm feeling it may bring all this whoever whatever happened here may bring a, a, a reunited of a family and it's a completed with the tens about completion it may bring people back together it, it, this is so beautiful man the energy that i'm feeling is like oh my god Bringing families back together. Mm. Yeah. With death. Releasing old things. Somebody's going through the dark night of the soul for sure. I hope this video come out alright. I hope you guys can hear me. <laughs> yeah. There's a transformation taking place here. We already seen that. And this is just confirmation. Just a second. Y'all, I'm going to see if I can... Uh, Make sure my volume is up. Which one is the volume key? Sorry, y'all. I'm just making sure that this volume is up here so you can guys can hear it. And I'll have to go through a bunch of changes. For sure, for sure. So I have to combine videos again. Okay, Spirit. What are the messages that we have? What are the messages that we have for... Friday. What's Friday's messages for whoever watched the video? Whoever comes and watch the video, what are the messages? Thank you. Yeah, number seven. You know, somebody just felt like a failure. Somebody was in a dark, 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 dark place here. Somebody was very dark and they got tired of, you know, everything failing around them. That's what happened. This darkness kind of overtook somebody here. And, but they got some kind of epiphany. I feel like the, the way I'm feeling is because of a broken relationship. Somebody just said, you know, I'm tired of this shit. I'm going on. I'm leaving. And that's what gave somebody this aha. Like, man, oh, man, I can't. No, I can't let them go. I'm here. Not the love of my life. No. This, this this obsession or this this addiction this temptation brought a lot of fighting and and, and, and stuff in the in the relationship and somebody was like walking away from it and somebody's like oh no I gotta fix this somebody got tired of saying I'm I'm a failure you know they got tired of it yeah, look, the star card. Somebody just like, I, I, I have to have hope and faith in myself. Somebody got, got the hope, the faith in themselves. Somebody got in tune with spirit. And they kind of let, you know how she's putting her hand up like this? Like, I got to connect. I got to connect. I got to help myself. And, and that's all this person needed to do. They had some hope and faith in themselves. Or I'm hearing as well as this person going on and getting help for themselves. Somebody has hope and faith for them. Kept hoping even though they had to leave this person alone to deal with their dark side and, you know, dark side night of the soul. They still had hope and faith anyway that this relationship come back together. And it does. It's completed now for a lot of you. It's a completion. This person sacrificed. To make his relationship come back together. His family or her family. Be he or she now, y'all. 
<clears throat> and it's you know a, a, a somebody's on a brand new beginning now with this ace of pentacles <clears throat> excuse me somebody's on uh somebody's pulling their self together and big time they're being very they're they're stable now somebody's if they haven't yet, they're going to be very, very stable. And it's going to cause a new beginning again with the family situation coming back together after some, some strife and, and dark times. This person going to be stable now. They're going to be able to do what they need to do to, to keep this family together now. I like this. I like it. I like stories like this. Spirit, can you tell us more, please? Thank you. So, we got another 10, which is the 10 of Wands. And we got a 5, Disappointment. Yeah, somebody, was, somebody here was tired of being disappointed. Somebody was tired of being oppressed and feeling sorry for themselves and causing disappointments in a family life, a friend life, a, a lover's life. Somebody was just tired of all of this. It all caught up with somebody here and they got a realization. They got some an epiphany and it may have took somebody to leave them for sure just to leave them. Because both of these to me are epiphany cards because they're both enlightened. Yeah, it took somebody to really, really walk away from this mess for somebody to break free and, and, and get some help for themselves. That's what I'm feeling like this is about some help. So they can take a look at themselves and straighten themselves out. You know, get on this new path, this new journey, a new beginning. Going, going for for what they know because they just got tired of all of this disappointing themselves disappointing their family members disappointing friends causing all kind of mayhem and destruction in their lives and people around them this person I feel like was guided by the most high here this is, yeah, this is going through the dark night Definitely the dark night of soul, but somebody's making a turn for the better. This is going to better somebody's situation. And I feel like for whoever it is, whether they get back with a family, that's going to happen to some. But I feel like for some, they're going to, you know, be a, a family has made left or, that you know, gone for good. And they may reestablish something with someone else, you know, as a healthier person now, though. They're going to be healthier. They're going to be better. They're, they're ready for a relationship at the bottom of the deck here yeah at the bottom of the deck we got the queen of swords uh aries i'm sorry aquarius gemini libra so i'm feeling that um someone is now standing their ground standing in their purpose standing in their truth and fixing things, deciding to fix things up in in their life. And there's certain things which I feel like it's, I do feel like it's alcohol for a lot, but it could be anything. But, you know, this sword is in this, uh, this, this jar with water in it. Cutting off the drinking. Cutting off the addictions. Y'all didn't see that. I'll show it to you right here where my finger is. That's a jar and it got a sword in it. Sword of communication. Swords of truth. Okay. And the truth is that somebody's cutting off their, uh, their addictions. They're cutting them off. They're standing their ground. And they mean what they say. And mean what they do. Whoever this person is. We got the hangman again. Because they had an epiphany. Period. They had an epiphany. They woke up. They woke up. Yeah. Yeah. And we got the Queen of Wands. They got help. They got some type of help. They're going to get help. The public defender. That's what it says on this card. But I just feel like this is a person that just got help.
and this temperance card now they're balancing out their drinking habits like it's balancing itself out now that someone's getting help for it whatever addiction that may be somebody's balancing this stuff out now they're, they're being patient with themselves or someone else is being patient with this person as they go through the dark night of the soul and actually get themselves some help here and now the tower is in reverse major arcana card these are major cards here now somebody's able to you know um flip everything uh around instead of it being like a you know this is like subtle this is subtle here this is avoiding the tower moment this is coming out of the dark night of the soul okay with the tower in reverse this is rising from the ashes I'm just going to pick whatever card spirit want me to pick on. Now, this is some beautiful freaking energy here. Very, very beautiful. I am loving it. Spirit, any more messages? Any more messages as we move forward in this reading? Any more messages? What's going to go on with this Wheel of Fortune here? What's going to go on with this Wheel of Fortune? Thank you, Spirit. Gave me three cards for that. Five of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and the Habit, which is the Hermit. Dependency, yeah, Dependency, Progress, see? From rivalry, from a bunch of bullshit. Five of Wands, that's what's going to happen out of this. This is, this is the fortunate situation. Whoever you or this person is going to re, uh, outcome is going to, you know, it's a fortunate is going to change things. You know, whatever this habit is, okay, which is dependency, you know, which is the devil, temptation, there's going to be progress there. And, and you know, and, and, and with the five of wands, you know, the progress is going to be stopping all this drama in somebody's life here. That's the fortune. That's what the fortunate fortune is here. The wheel of fortune coming along for this person. Or for you or for whoever this may be. How is this going to affect the two, uh, the lovers in reverse? How is this going to affect the lovers in reverse? Now I'm being nosy. Let's see, we had the five of wands twice. We got a lot of repeated energy here. Okay, thank you, Spirit. You are, you are one. Authentic. Somebody's going to see the real them. They're going to be their authentic self. Yes, I feel like it's going to turn this lover's card or whatever this situation was it back in up in the upright. Somebody's going to show the, their true self in in this relationship. Somebody's going to express their true self as well. You know, somebody's going to unmask themselves. Can you give me one more card on this? Lovers in reverse. I'm also hearing that, you know, whatever took place here, that this breakup is because somebody was wearing a mask. They wasn't being authentic. That's what turned this relationship upside down. Thank you, Spirit. Gave me two cards here. The hanging one comes up again. It calls stagnation. Number 12 may need, mean something to y'all. Page of sword. And it calls somebody to, you know, check themselves. Inspection. Calls them to look at something. Calls them to, to evaluate. Find out what's up. You know, reevaluate themselves. You know, getting that epiphany. So they can sacrifice themselves so they can do better. Do better. Wow. You know, and bring justice in their life. Major Arcana, y'all. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra, a Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Aqu Everything's on the board. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Pisces. Scorpio. Can't uh Capricorn 
the tower. We got an Aries in the house. Got a Sagittarius in the house. <laughs> so everything is going to balance out. And somebody's going to, you know, be loyal as well. Somebody's, there's going to be some loyalty out of this. There's going to be some um, equality, some justice, some karma. So that's the dark night of the soul. But it's, it's, it's going to end up a good situation, whatever's going on here for you guys or for somebody that you may know. And I'm really, 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 really proud of who this may be resonating with. I'm so proud of you. It takes a lot of courage, a lot of guts, a lot of faith, a lot of hope, which you got the star card in here. Some of you could be an Aquarius getting over some, 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 you know, some type of temptation that makes you go, you know, makes you go a little crazy or causes a lot of drama in your life. Hmm. I'm just so proud of you. Yeah. Let me know in the comments. Don't be ashamed. This is nothing to be ashamed of. This is like I say, um, everybody's story is somebody else's glory. Ain't nothing to be ashamed of. We all have our trials and tribulations in life. We all have to go through that dark night of soul because if we don't, we'll just keep repeating cycles over and over again. But somebody here is going through a, a, a lucky cycle. Like the wheels is turning because they, they, you know, decided to, you know, face themselves and you know want this wheel to turn in their favor and, and that's when you do that that is going through the process that is setting yourself free that is starting from ground zero and you know and, and you know that is having epiphanies and sacrifices in your life that's what it is you know you got to walk away some, for, some, for some things that just don't just don't serve you in your life anymore it's just as dead as done it just keep running into a a, a broken record damn near you know so, you know you got to listen to your instincts here you got to follow your instincts and and know what you feel inside you got to know some of the things that you do is just not right and it doesn't lead you in a good uh situation you just you just gotta walk away from it like get yourself the strength and courage to walk away because i'm seeing a lot of like a spiritual intervention very much so i'm seeing that a lot and somebody went for it like, I need to make this change. I need to make this change today. And I need, and I'm going to. That's what I'm feeling the energy here. I'm going to make this change. I'm going to make it with or without anybody. This, I'm, I'm keep hearing, I'm doing this for myself. It's going to benefit myself. Somebody's tired of their own self and their own ways, their own bad habits. They're, they're tired of self-destructing here is what I'm getting. Somebody's tired of it. They're like, I'm done with this self-sabotage bullshit. I'm done with it. I've done it too much. It's like it's getting on my nerves. I got to make that change. And, and like I said, congratulations. If you can, you know, put it down in the comment section, what the heck your experience was and what, you know, and help some other people to be strong like this help some other people be strong like this let them know that they can come out of it if they want to you be that example okay what is the advice what's the advice Thank you, Spirit. Gratitude. Yep, being thankful. Being thankful. Being thankful. Yeah. Be grateful for abundance. Live in appreciation for what you have. And more good things will come. Yes, indeed. Appreciate what you got. Be thankful. Have gratitude. Yeah. Humor. Laugh at yourself. Lighten your heart. Let nothing steal your happiness. Hallelujah. Yeah, sometimes we just gotta can't take it. You gotta look at the humorous, the brightness in life. See how bright this card is. Yellow. It's nice and bright. Rainbow in there. 
Okay. And we got nature. Sometimes all you need is, is to go outside. Breathe the fresh air to remember who you are and where you want to be. This is something really weird because when I got up early this morning, I went outside and I did my breathing techniques that I like to do to keep me grounded. And I like looking at that tree while I'm doing it. And as soon as I've done that, my brother, both my brothers, my uncle, and my aunt, one of my aunts, my, one of my favorite aunts, she was in back of me. Like they was coming like one by one coming up to me like, Sandy, we, you know, we're really proud of you. We really proud of you. You you okay? You headed in the right direction. All they was encouraging me, and I was just sitting there, you know. And I I did have my you know had my head down because I was listening to what they were saying to me and that energy. They was like really, and I was like you know thank you you know I thank you guys. And they were saying they were protecting me, and to keep on doing what I'm doing. You know, I just heard they was coming like one by one. One uh, on the right side of me was my um my my brother that just passed not last year, and then the one that passed my brother that passed when I was when he was fourteen, which was uh, nineteen seventy five or seventy four. Yeah, nineteen seventy four. Yeah, he passed away nineteen seventy four. He was fourteen. No, he was thirteen. I was fourteen. He came and he sat under, he sat like I was on the steps. My, my oldest brother sat next to me and my younger brother came in and sat un underneath my oldest brother. And then my aunt came, my uncle came after that. My uncle Woody, he died like a year ago or a year, about a year and a half, maybe almost two years time flies. And he came on my left side. And he was saying the same thing. They was all like chilling, you know, like laid back, like, you know, like out, like with their hands like this. And they was like doing hand gestures. Yeah, you're going to be okay. Don't worry about it. And this and that. We got you. We, we, we got you. Stay on your path. Do what you need to do. Be happy. And then my aunt came in back of me. And she was, you know, talking to me. Well, you know, I just wanted to let y'all know that. That's what happened to me. That's why I'm feeling picking up with this nature. Because I was outside, you know, like I said, looking at the trees and stuff. I, I like doing that. I love nature. I, I always felt connected to nature. I like trees. I walk around with bare feet all the damn time. Even though I puncture them, scuffle them up, I still do the same thing. Because I just got to feel that en that, that energy from, from, from earth. The earth energy. <laughs> Yeah. So, you know, you guys, I'm so proud of you, whoever this is, whoever this is going through this spirit wants to know that they are so proud of you. Nothing but good is going to come out of this for you. You watch and see. Spirit is saying you watch and see if it hadn't already for some of you. Some of you are going to be a, um, a mortar for some other people, helping other people. You're going to have a really good life. For this sacrifice that you made for yourself. So your life is going to be better than more than a lot more than what you think. Everything's going to start falling into place for you. You're going to be very alert, very aware of things around you. Uh, you're going to be alert of your trigger points when it comes to your addictions or bad habits that may be that you were temp a lot of temptation. You're going to be aware of it and why it makes you, why it triggers you. And you're going to be able to conquer it that way. Because you're more aware now. And it was the self-determination. And it's going to be like, oh, well, I, um, I, I've done this. I started it. I can finish it. And then, you know, the most high and angel guys that watch over you, they, they, they can, they help you the rest of the way. Yeah, they'll help you the rest of the way as you go along. So congratulations to you guys. Nothing to be ashamed of. It's all something to be proud of, whoever you are out there. And I thank Spirit for these messages that came along. And if it's somebody out there, you know, if you're feeling like you are in this situation, this is what you can do. You can get out of it. You can release it. You can save the drama for your mama and keep on moving. You will be okay. Whew. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button on the way out. And I'll talk to you in another video. Bye.